Hello my reading friends. Welcome to Renu's Reading Corner where we read stories together. Today we are reading Books Aren't for Bears by Mark Barry and Katie Halford. There was once a very content bear. He had all that a bear could need. Woodland friends, a cozy home, and plenty of honey and nuts. But one day, bear found something that changed everything. He found a book. The words danced across the bright white pages. Bear didn't understand then, but suddenly he wasn't so content. He wanted more. Look at this, he said. Owl, being wise like owls are, taught Bear to read. They spent warm autumn afternoons reading together at the foot of Owl's oak tree home. The more he read, the more books Bear wanted. He searched every day, but he never found another book. However, he did find a bicycle. The owner of this little bike must be missing it, thought Bear. I'll take it back to the city. Perhaps I'll find some new books. Bear called together all his forest friends. Friends, I'll be leaving the forest for the big city. I need more books and surely I'll find them there, he said. Safe travels, Bear. Be careful on that bike. Good luck, Bear. Bear stopped at the edge of the forest, feeling nervous. But with a deep breath and a wave goodbye, he joined the traffic heading to the big city he could see in the distance. Before long, the sky darkened and rain began to fall. But Bear pedaled on into the wind. Cars whizzed past him and children stared out of their windows, amazed at the cycling bear. But strangely, no grown-ups seemed at all concerned. That's the trouble with grown-ups. They never notice anything important. When Bear arrived in the city, he stopped at the first school he could find. As he started to look for the owner of the bike, he spotted the open door of a classroom. Inside, Bear could see a pile of books on the table. Ah, books! This is the perfect place for me, thought Bear. Out! 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 This is a classroom. Classrooms are for children. And so are books. Books aren't for bears. Poor Bear hurried away. He trudged past houses and playgrounds and shops until he found exactly what he was looking for a bookshop ah books this is the perfect place for me bear peered through the window at all the books piled high out 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 the owner chased bear from the shop bookshops are for people and so are books Books aren't for bears. Bear was tired and Bear was sad. It was time to go back to the forest. As Bear started the long walk back, he passed a large window with lights on inside. He peeked in and could not believe what he saw. Bear wished he could join the cozy readers. But books aren't for bears, he thought sadly. Would you like to come in, dear? asked a quiet voice. Bear could not believe it. The librarian offered Bear her hand and led him to a little corner of the library with large comfy cushions and lots and lots of books. Thank you, said Bear with delight. You are welcome, after all. Reading is for everyone. When the library was about to close, Bear got himself a library card and a huge pile of books. As Bear walked past the school, he noticed there was only one bike left behind. 
it was the one he had bought back from the forest. Perhaps it is meant to be mine, he thought. All Bear's forest friends were thrilled to have him back. They were amazed to see so many books. I will have to return these in three weeks, explained Bear. But then I can get some more. Bear now had more than what he needed. He settled in at the foot of Owl's tree, surrounded by his friends, and began to read. There was once a very content bear. The end. For more stories, please subscribe to my channel. See you soon.